We've got an epic battle between two of the most popular TCGs. We've got Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! Who's gonna win? What's up, Breaker Army? We are back with another epic video. You guys saw we've got Pokemon versus Yu-Gi-Oh! This is gonna be epic. Can't wait to crack into these packs and see what we got. Uh, we do have a couple different sets from each one, so should give us, you know, a little bit of a fighting chance from both sides. Um, I am more of a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, but recently I have gotten to uh, collecting a lot more Pokemon, and I've really been enjoying it. So we're going to see who can win and kind of maybe settle the score some. It's really hard to say, uh, you know, which one is better overall, but we're going to see. We're going to toss it up and see who wins. Uh, before we do get into the awesome pack opening, I do have uh, four cards to give out today. These are from two recent videos from the Maximum Gold Eldorado opening I did, and then the Hoopa V and Dragonite V boxes. So all you guys have to do is drop a like, leave a comment who you think is the better TCG, and what card uh, was the victor today. Um, of course, be a subscriber, show that support, ring that bell if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more. So we're going to start, I think, with... Let's start with Yu-Gi-Oh. So for Yu-Gi-Oh, I do actually have half a booster box of Synchro Storm. So we're gonna get into cracking that one. I've got two OTS tournament pack 16s. So we're gonna see what we can get. Maybe we've got an ulti in there. Can we get the Cyber Dragon? And then we do have a Mega 10 to open up. So we're gonna go through the Synchro Storms um, just to see what we got since those are more um, it is half a pack. I didn't mix them up. I just pulled straight from the right side. So we're going to see what we can get. Can we finally get that Baron de Fleur? Um, can we get some redemption from our first opening we did? We're going to go through these a little bit quick um, just because it is, eh, it's, Synchro Storm wasn't bad. It really just has like one main chase card and it's not even the Ghost Rare. <laughs> it's the Baron card, but still cool. Nonetheless, I've heard the Lyrilisk set or archetype has been uh, doing fairly well. It's highly, I wouldn't say highly sought after, but for what it is, I've heard it's done uh, fairly well in competition and apparently it's a very fun deck to play. So, you know, best of luck to everyone who is chasing that. Maybe we can get something good. I think um, it's, I think it's a magic card. The Lairalisk Bird Call is the most expensive, one of the most expensive cards in this set. But we're gonna hope we can at least get something. You know, let's let's hope that Yu-Gi-Oh can stand a fighting chance. Oh, we did get a super rare. Okay, so we got Lyrilisk, a Promenade Thrush. So that is our first one of the opening so far. I don't remember how the booster box is split up. I think it's five ultra rares with this one, um, if I remember correctly, and then six is the air. So bunch of Speedroid supports, Lyrilisk. Um, the Baron, or excuse me, the, the, the Fleur, Fleur, Flower, not really. <laughs> um, bunch of support across the whole set. So maybe we can actually get something decent today. So far we have gotten nothing. We've gotten just the super rare, but I think that's why I wasn't a big fan of this set. Just cause it, it's when there's like really one main chase card, it's hard to want to just go through and fight for it. So we got our first ultra rare, Lurlisk and Simblu Robin. I think I did pull that one. I opened up mine the first time in the massive Yu-Gi-Oh battle between a bunch of different Yu-Gi-Oh tubers, which Yada did actually win. It was Yada versus Sparkman in the finals, if you guys have kept up with that. He did pull the ghost rare on his, I think it was his second pack. <laughs> You know, props to you, Sparkman. You pulled the Ghost Rare on your first round, and then you pulled the Baron on your second round. You, man, that's just crazy, crazy, crazy luck for sure. Uh, Speedroid Wheel, another Hollow. So we're getting through about maybe halfway through on our Synchro Storm packs. Um, not looking too good. You know, we got one Ultra so far. Like I said, I didn't shuffle the packs up. Pulled straight off the right side. Maybe the right side can bring us some luck for today's video. Come on, let's get something, something good, something spicy. We need something spicy. My openings have been pretty decent lately. You know, I can't really complain too much. Um, definitely not complain. We just got two supers, <laughs> two of the same supers back to back. Um, but you always want more, especially in a set like this that has ghost rare potential. Like, come on, I haven't pulled a ghost rare yet in the channel. 
Let's change that today. Let's go ahead and pull that ghost rear. That would be absolutely insane. <laughs> I would lose my mind to say the least. But we do have some epic Pokemon packs coming up. Um, some that, uh, two of them are newer, just like with the Yu-Gi-Oh, we've got some two new products. And then one that's a little bit older. That's like one of the worst ultra rares. Why? I think I pulled this one last time too. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Synchro Storm. Other than, you know, hanging around with the booster box to keep for the sealed collection, I'm not buying any more of this set. You know, I'm sorry. It is what it is. Just not a big fa favorite of mine. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm more of a collector, so not a big time collector set. It's very cool, you know, cool support all around, but not for me. You know, of the recent sets, I would have to say King's Court is probably the more uh, collector friendly with the classic cards, you know, all the Kings, Queens, Jacks Knight, all those um, that are super rare. But, and of course, all the, the God cards. But really here lately, it's all been meta relevant stuff, which is fine, you know, nothing against that. We've had a good mix. We've got the uh, Teenage of Battles that has helped uh, dry up, bring down prices some on some of the meta relevant cards. And then uh, we do have the Maximum Gold. We're in our last pack of Synchro Storm. The Maximum Gold, which has brought some amazing alternate arts to the TCG that were only in the OCG. And then a bunch of different reprints from Classic Ones. So can we finish with something good? We cannot. So we've got two Ultras on this side of the box. Maybe there's something crazy hiding on the other one. I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna find out. Um, you know, actually, I think I'm gonna go back and forth. Instead of doing all Yu-Gi-Oh and all Pokemon, um, we're gonna go back and forth just a little bit. So what we're gonna do, I do actually have some blisters or sleeve packs for Pokemon. I've got two Fusion Strike, one, two, three, four, five, and six of Evolving Skies. Um, let's go ahead and get into these, and then we're gonna finish off with the OTS pack. So. Um, actually, give me a second. I'm going to crack open these blisters because it is kind of a pain in the butt. So I will cut the film and work my magic. Be right back. All right. We've got all of our packs ready to go for Pokemon, everything like that. So we're going to start with our Fusion Strike. We've got a Bolton and a Mew pack art. Can we actually pull the Mew? You know, with this set, it has some really cool artworks from Mew, Gengar, um, even Celebi, I would not mind one bit to get that one from Celebi. I don't know why these are upside down. Really, is that crimped? No, okay, it's not. <laughs> but I would not mind one bit to get that alternate art. It's a Celebi V alternate art, if I'm not mistaken. Alrighty, let's go. Trevenant, Adventurous Discovery, Schoolgirl, uh, Buneri, Basculin, Grubbin, Mankey. Love that artwork with Mankey and Krogunk. We got our reverse snom and a hollow butterfree. So not bad. At least it was a hollow. You know, can't be too entirely upset about that. All right. So Mew, I need you to bring us some luck with this pack. Come on, Mew. Something be hiding in this booster pack. All right. So we're gonna try and do it this way. This time. There we go. Okay. Code card for you all. Two, three, four. I cannot wait to crack into those Evolving Skies. Maybe we can get some more luck like we just had from our Hoopa V-Box. That was insane. <laughs> All right, Shelter, Caterpie, Drillbur. Got a Shinx. Our reverse is a Vulpix, which is great. And nothing. Just a clay doll. Okay, so Fusion Strike. Ooh, Fusion uh, Strike was not very good. So let's move on to Evolving Skies. This set, as you guys have probably heard from one of my recent videos, I am working to collect a whole set of this one. Um, very close to finishing it. Of course, the last cards I need are the very expensive ones. <laughs> so it'll be a while until I can actually, whoa, we've got something crimped. That's pretty cool. Two, three, and four, what do we have? Let's see, Ribbon Badge, Zoelius, and then it is a Xenia's Resolve. Very cool, I've actually never pulled a crimped Pokemon card. I don't, you know, I don't think they, sell for all that much, but it's unique, <laughs> to say the least. Phoebus, a reverse gold duck, and a hollow Entei. So we're getting hollows, <laughs> not the ones we want. Entei is still very cool. Um, I do like getting hollow rares, especially in the legendary Pokemon. 
but you know we are after those V cards, the V the uh, full arts. I think a lot of the ones I need now are the um, V Max secret rares. The of course very expensive ones. V Max secret or secret rare. Uh, I think it's the alternate art ones. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, from Evolving Skies, like the. The Rekraza, I need that one. The Sylveon, pretty much all of them. <laughs> I need just about all of them. So if you do have them and you want to work out a trade or something, that would be great. I would uh, would not mind negotiating some and possibly trading in your favor. All right, Reverse Aplin and a non-hollow Wishy-Washy. All right, Evolvance guys, you're not helping yourselves out. You know, we didn't pull anything crazy so far from, from Yu-Gi-Oh, so... At least Pokemon has a fighting chance to redeem itself. We do just have a couple more packs of Evolving Skies. And then we're going to go on to the Ten of Ancient Battles. And then from there, we'll go to the goodies of XY Evolution. I, I've actually never opened up one of those packs, so I am super stoked. I managed to find some of the tins that those come in. So I can't wait to crack into those. Reverse Appleton and a non-holotropius. So we are striking out with our evolving skies. Uh, really, just overall, you know, we haven't got anything crazy from the Yu-Gi-Oh packs. Nothing too crazy from the Pokemon. Uh, let's let's change it. Let's get something good. I didn't really. That was just the QR code. There's the actual code. Another looks like crimped card. Wow. <laughs> I've, I said I've never pulled one, and I pulled two in one video. Okay, Brevari, Temple, was it the Temple that was crimped? I think it might have been Brevari. Yeah, it might have been Brevari. Got an Eevee, Cutie Fly, Pikachu, Reverse Stoutland, and oh, we did get something, we got a V, let's go. <laughs> we'll take a V. Oh my, uh, I think I need this one. I don't remember, there's a few V cards that I am missing, but we did get a hit, we got a V card, let's go. Get up there, Gyarados. You deserve to be front and center. All right, last pack of Evolving Skies. Ooh, come on. I still need the Umbreon V Full Art, V Full Alternate Art, I think is what it is. Oh, come on now. These packs just refused to be opened. I mean, something good must be hiding in there. Is that how that works? But I do still need the Umbreon. Maybe this one will be hiding in this pack. Let's go. Come on. One, two, three, and four. Let's get them. Come on, baby. All right, we got a Dream Ball. We'll stack up our cards. Stormy Mountain. Baldor. We got a Mareep. Drowsy. Scraggy. Phoebus. Hitmonchan. A Reverse Galarian Articuna. That one's actually very cool. I am happy to have that one. And we do have a Metacham V. So let's go. We got two V cards on our last two packs of Evolving Skies. Let's go. Okay, so not the ones we want. However, it is a hit, so that does uh, edge our Pokemon in the lead, which is good. <laughs> um, you know, I I don't know. I go back and forth all the time. I love Pokemon. I love Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, it's hard to say which one truly, truly is my favorite, um, just because I played a bunch of the games of Pokemon growing up. I did more of the actual dueling with Yu-Gi-Oh. So... I like, I like them both. I mean, I really do. I think I'm definitely more into Yu-Gi-Oh! as far as the actual cards go. Um, like, my collection is far more expensive, but what are you doing? Get out of here, pack. All right, so we're going to skip past all of the commons, because you guys know there's nothing crazy about the commons. All right, we got a Gravity Controller. We got a Thunder Hand and El Shadal Construct. I think this is one of the better ones from this set. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but we are after that Triple Tactics Talent and the Crossout Designator. We've got a Virtual World something a GG and then an Ad Emancipator Dragite. So nothing too crazy from our first pack of the Mega Pack 2021s. That is a okay. We're not putting these. Let's put them right there. <laughs> All right, second pack. So this is 110 total uh, with three packs. Can we get something crazy? Can we get the Crossout Designator? Can we get the Triple Tactics? Um, there are a few decent, um, what you call it, um, Secret Rares, some of the Prismatic Secret Rares in here. So maybe we can get something good. What do we have? We got a Shadal Schism. I do think this is actually one of the good ones. I think the Shadal cards across the board actually uh, have held value, I believe. All right, so we struck out with that one. 
Uh, we did get a decent, um, what you call it, super rare. Not super rare, secret rare, prismatic secret rare. My mind can't think right now. <laughs> too excited, too much shininess going on. There's just Pokemon as Yu Gi Oh! Pokemon Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> what are we dinging? Okay, we're good. All right, we got a Deep Sea Sentry as our first common. Let's go ahead and just hyperspeed through them. Fiendish Portrait. For our secret, we got a cross sheep. We have a Dogmatica Nexus. And what do we have for our last ultra rare? Smash that like button for good luck, guys. And it is a Nail Shadal Aerial. Oof. So Yu-Gi-Oh! is not doing too hot at all. We are not getting the cards that we want. So Pokemon's got a chance. We've got the two V cards. We've got a couple hollows. Um, and then we do have some XY evolutions. These are going to be super fun. We have uh, two of the starters on the artworks. Um, I think I think there's four total. I don't remember. Ooh, I'm going to mess up this pack trick. I think it's three. I could be wrong. I think it's three. Okay, so we have a white one. We're going to do three. Let's hope that's right. One, two, three. Come on, don't be wrong. Okay, uh, might be wrong. <laughs> we'll find out together. All right, Brock's grip. We've got a maintenance, a switch. Ghastly, saying true, Weedle. This is just so cool. I don't know why I'm going through so fast. Like, for those of you who opened packs when you were a kid and opened up base set, jungle, fossil, team rocket, all that stuff, just like seeing these cards for the first time in so long in person is just, it's just, it's wow. It brings about so many memory, memories. Tangela, Ponyta. We got, oh, we did get a reverse Pikachu. That is so cool. I forgot that the, there's, re I think it's reverse for everyone in the set. So very cool. And then do we have a hollow? Oh, whoa. Oh my God. That is the Blastoise EX, the, I think it's the Mecha, a Mega one, excuse me. Holy crap. We got a massive hit from our <laughs> Evolutions pack. Let's go. Oh my God. So it's not the Charizard that we're looking for from this one, but that is a Blastoise EX. It could be $5. I don't care. This card is amazing. Look at that beauty shine. <laughs> oh yes. So Yu-Gi-Oh, you've got one more chance with those two OTS packs. I don't know. I do have some more OTS packs to open. I've just kind of been holding on to um, oh my god, <laughs> Blastoise EX, let's go, um, okay, so green code card, I, I think it works just like the other ones, I don't know why those are backwards, I guess this last one will open up the other way, all right, so hey, Haunter, this is very cool, I am happy with that one, Brock's Grit, we got a Spirit Link, Caterpie, Doduo, this is so cool, and I, I'm probably gonna say this again in the last pack, we got a Machop, Growlithe, I think this is coming in our reverse, a reverse Tangela, and then we do have a Beedrill. So, okay, so it does work like this, so it's green and white codes. Either you get something or you don't. Wow, let's go. Blastoise EX, can we finish with the Spicy Fire Lizard Boy? Can we get a Charizard from our Evolutions packs? That would just be insane. Absolutely insane. All right, so, okay, that actually works in our favor. So that way we don't spoil it. We don't know if it's gonna be a hit or not. All right, three cards to the front. I do see some whitening on that last card. That is upsetting. <laughs> but hopefully it's something something good. I don't care. Pokedex, we've got a Porygon. Star U, Onyx, Energy, Voltorb, Tangela. Uh, reverse is a Raichu. So we got Pikachu and Raichu. Oh my God, Pokemon. <laughs> you are coming in for the victory. You are trying to KO punch Yu-Gi-Oh out of the water. And then we do have a Beedrill. Bam, bam. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> oh my God. So we got that Blastoise out of one pack of evolutions. That is so cool. I can't believe I tracked down those tins. They just happened to pop up on my Walmart. Um, that was just amazing. <laughs> so... We're going to uh, get into our OTS packs. Can we get something good with those? So our two OTS packs, I don't know. You know, these were given to me uh, from my locals whenever I bought some stuff from them, um, just you know during the COVID times and stuff, not too long ago. And um, they, I, I don't believe they've been scaled. Don't believe they've been weighed. Um, I kind of, I don't want to 
peek too much and see. I think some of the ultis do have ulti stamps, but we're gonna hope we get something good. Um, okay, back looks good. All right, we got a Cybersaurus. We got Lord of British Space Fighter, and we do have a Cyberstar. Okay, so no ulti on that one. You are guaranteed super rares. So we've got uh, Cyber Dragon is the main chase one. Uh, in this one, you do have, um, was it Forbidden Droplet, I think is the other one. And then there's one more. What is the other ulti? I don't remember. But we're just hoping to get at least one. That would be great, especially because Yu-Gi-Oh just needs some kind of help. They, we haven't pulled crap for Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Power filter, and then last pack. Come on, guys. Smash the like button. Give us some luck. Give us some luck. Do we have an ulti? Do we have? We don't. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> That is rough. Geez, so Yu-Gi-Oh got destroyed in this opening, at least off quick the first glance, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go through all the pools and show us what we got for the Yu-Gi-Oh side and then the Pokemon side, and then I'll let you guys decide on who's the winner, so give me a second. So the time has come, we've got to compare what we got between Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, we're gonna start with Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I'm, I think I can say that Yu-Gi-Oh lost this one, unfortunately. Uh, you guys tell me. So we get El Shadal Construct, Crush Sheep, Shadal Schism. Those are our prismatic rares for Ultras. Um, couple, you know, okay ones, but really nothing crazy. Um, then we did get the Luralisk and Sin Blue Robin, and then Nic Necro uh, Synchron. So I think the Construct might be the most valuable one. I'll pop up prices on the screen, obviously, every, every time. But... For Pokemon, we did get something big. Like, I can't believe this. This Blastoise EX. I believe it is a secret rare or ultra rare. I don't know how it works with evolutions, but um, to my knowledge, you know, this card actually looks really good. There's, you know, no noticeable whitening. The back centering is even de pretty decent, so can't really complain. I'm pretty happy about that one. All right, so we did get that Blastoise. We got the Gyarados V, the Medicham V, two hits from our Evolving Skies. And then this was really cool. I'm actually really happy I got a Raichu and then the Tangle, of course, and a Pikachu. So we did get those two. That is really cool coming from the base set. And then the Entei and Butterfree. So you guys let me know what you think won between Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, we're likely going to be doing some more of these in the future just because it was fun to open up both packs on camera. Um, and show you guys what we got. So maybe, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh will win the next time. I don't know. Destiny is destiny, so if it's bound to happen, it's bound to happen. But anyways, if you guys have enjoyed this, enjoyed this video, enjoy my content, make sure you subscribe, show some support, ring that bell. Stay after the video for a link to my previous one. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in, watching my content, and showing some love and some support. I hope you guys do have a nice day and a nice night. This is Cardbreaker. I'm out.